me more about New Testament and you do, you although we have to teach the kids and I'm actually learning to. Somebody called Jesus to die on the cross. He shed his perfect blood. Three days later, he rose. Then. But you know what? It's only through Jesus. It's only through Jesus that we can get to God. The Bible says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And we, we have to look to the only God who's ever not sick. So evangelism never came naturally for me, but coming here and just hearing it and hearing it from the truth of God and knowing that I can't avoid it, it's something that's been commanded and it's what God desires. You can't just say, all right, today I am not going to die. I'm not going to let it happen. Huh? Wheeling yourself will not stop you from being hit by a stray bullet in a random shooting or hit by a stray drunk driver at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Nothing's going to keep you alive if you just get on it real bad. Through this trip, it's really helped me to realize there are broken people out here, people who don't know about Jesus, people who don't know about God's forgiveness. And so this has really helped me just have more of a concern and a heart that is just eager to share with them the hope that I have. My favorite part of the trip was working with the children and um, getting to spend time on them. They come from harder backgrounds, so just getting to love on them and showing them God's love through our actions. It's my favorite part. Before I came here, I actually thought that I don't like kids, but working with these kids is like so good. God is so good, and I'm really grateful that I get to like know these kids and work with them, and yeah, just to know about them and teach them stuff. And you know what? Yes, water came out. How awesome is that? And do you know what this is called? Something that God can do and human cannot do? Power? Yeah, um, it's called miracle. God says, this whole thing, this whole world, is not about you. It's about me because I'm God. I'm the big one. I'm the one who made everything, says God. He ate from the tree and gave, a, gave some fruit to Adam and Eve. Because you ate from that tree I told you not to eat from, you've broken my law, you've sinned against me. Obey your mom and dad. Here's one, do not murder. Yeah, they're definitely hard to do. Hands and feet, be your voice every time I speak. I want to run to the ones in need, in the name of Jesus. in that I've really seen God move and that his word is true like a lot of times this week we'd be telling the children that God is awesome God is powerful and like even later that night God would show me how awesome he is and how powerful he is. If you turn and trust in him the Bible says you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. Jesus is here tonight to give new life. I have some booklets here how to receive God's forgiveness. If you want to know more about this, these are free, I don't bite. Come and take one of these from my hand and you can know more about what I'm talking about. Is there anybody here that would come up here and say, hey, I want one of these booklets. I want to know more about what you're talking about. I have some more booklets here. Anybody else, hey, God bless you. Dios le bendiga, todos. Oh, yeah.